Today we're going to talk about a common mistake I think a lot of new players make, uh, especially with skill-based matchmaking as strong as it is, they're going to go ahead and try and copy a professional Call of Duty player's class setup. So whether that's Scump, Clayster, uh, Priesta, Attach, whoever is on your favorite pro list that you would follow, people just go out of their way and copy those individual players class setups it's a common mistake i think a lot of players fall victim to especially just because they don't know better i've done this type of video and it kind of gives you an opportunity to understand a little bit about why pro players are essentially play a completely different game and a lot of times when i've done these types of videos explaining how different the pro league is compared to regular public matches some people end up thinking that some of their favorite youtubers are considered quote unquote pro players like Swag is not a pro player. Nick Merckx is not a pro player. These are content creators. And whoever else you have that you watch on a regular basis that is not actually in the CDL, they're just content creators at the end of the day. Um, so if they give you a class setup, more than welcome to try it out. But there's definitely reasons to avoid using a pro player's class setup for, for the reasons that we're going to talk about in today's video. So if you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit that like button. Go on today's video is 1800 likes. If you're brand new, want to find your way back or keep finding your way back, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Let's go ahead and get into the first example. So if we go into the modes, you can see for some of them, they actually have a CDL search and destroy. If I go to domination, not there. Hard point, they have a CDL hard point. Control, they have a CDL control. Um, and then based off of that, there's a specific rule set that's already baked into the game. Just to kind of simplify that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the overall rule set uh, for the CDL. So you can find out these rules. This is on game battles. This is where a lot of times people uh, compete uh, for money um, against other players, whether it's tournament bracket, 2v2, 4v4. Uh, there's different, different formats there. And obviously, they're going to have their own variants for the specific website. But if you're going to be playing with the CDL variant, um, there's specific things that are restricted. So when it comes to Search and Destroy, they are only allowed to play these five maps as part of the CDL rule set. So when we get to pros, you're going to see they veto some of these things where they say, we're not playing that, we're not using that. So the rules get even more constricted uh, because they make gentlemen's agreements to essentially um, not use those things. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that point. So you got five mats there, five for hard point, and then three for control. As far as restricted weapons, these are the weapons that they are not allowed to use. They're not allowed to use light machine guns, so that removes the stoner, RPD, M60. Uh, as far as shotgun goes, they're not allowed those. Launchers, none of those. And then also not the, the thumper. Uh, what you notice in here is snipers are included. They can use snipers. Um, when it comes to the CDL rules, they can use a tactical rifle. So if you want to use an M16, a DMR, or, or whatever, they could use any of those types of things. And they get all access to the rifles, uh, SMGs, um, and pistols. So pretty much that's how that part works if we're following the CDL. So the ranked playlist is going to include this stuff unless it changes between now and then. We also have attachments that are blocked. For all weapons, you're not allowed to use dual wield with specifically pistols. And then the five milliwatt laser sight, which usually tightens up your hip fire as much as possible. And then we also have the ember sighting point, uh, which I believe is the light, uh, which allows you to see, uh, you know, it marks targets essentially in your field of view up to a certain range. So we have those there. So for when it comes to score streak, they're allowed to use everything except for the combat bow, a spy plane, counter spy plane, care package, sentry turret, and then air patrol. Um, so they're, they're very limited. Uh, basically anything that's left, they're able to use war machine, gunship, chopper gunner uh bombing run or whatever the heck it's called in this game um and then we have perks so for perk one they're not allowed to use paranoia or forward intel perk two tracker and then wild cars are not allowed to use danger close uh, when it comes to equipment we can go ahead and see this one here they're not allowed to use a stim shot a decoy um lethals are not allowed to use c4 or tomahawk so they could use regular frag grenades regular semtex uh molotovs Field upgrades are not allowed to use proximity mines, field mic, or gas mine. Pretty much leaves the trophy system and, and the, the ammo, right, that you get for the specialized ammo. So that's pretty much there. This is what the CDL rule looks like is going to look like once rank play comes in. It's going to be within that format. So you can kind of get an idea of what's restricted and what's not. It's not too limited at this particular point. But then now we get into the gentlemen's agreements. And pretty much what gentlemen agreements are is basically the team captains or the teams or organizations agree to certain rules. And if you go against these rules, they're obviously not against the CDL rules. So if you show up with an M16 and you decide to use that in your matches, 
um, you're not going to be, the other teams will basically say you're, you're blacklisted and you're not allowed to scrim with us anymore. And scrim is basically the main form of practice for the pro players where they go head to head against each other. They get to try stuff out. It's not for any money or anything like that. They just get to literally practice against each other and try out the given, the given items in the game, positioning, rotations, um, different strategies. They get to play that all out before the money's actually online in tournaments. So if you go against the GA, you're basically not going to be able to scrim, which basically means you're not going to be able to practice against other pro level players. Um, so you're going to be left to playing pubs, which is nothing like the CDL version of the game. So let's go ahead and look at some of the GAs that they've made so far. So this is CDL Intel. They kind of keep up to date on all this type of stuff. You can see right here the GA list and it continues to evolve. So this is the official rule set. If we click here, it's going to go ahead and go through the rule set kind of that we just looked at. Um, and then the gentleman's agreement is no tactical rifle. So they basically remove that right off the bat. No AK-47. This was EU only. And this is for the challengers not the actual pro league. Um, and then we have Molotovs, none of those. So they vetoed that because it was still available. Perks, no gear head. They removed that. No perk grade. Uh, and then lawbreakers allowed, but you can't use it as an overkill. So that means you can't run a rifle and SMG. If you're going to run a sniper rifle, you're going to have to run a pistol with that um, because you can't use shotguns, you can't use launchers. So you're very limited on the options there. So pretty much what this allows you to do is with the perks that are available, you could just mix and match the perks that make sense, especially since you're not allowed to use perk greed, even though perk greed will be available when the regular CDL rules are for ranked playlists. So there's, you can see how we're going in a different direction where the game is going to play drastically different. Streaks, they decided no score streaks, no thermals, no lasers of any kind. That's for the EU only. Teams limited to three trophies. So if there's four players on a team, one of them will basically end up running the ammo pack. Um, and then you only get one smoke um, and then two smokes for S and D respawn is control as well as hard point. So we go through this and this list continues to evolve. Now we got part two. So what they did is they added no spokes to respawn game modes. Um, so they basically vetoed that. Um, and then they had no more lasers. Now it's for all regions versus before it was just for EU. Um, and then we come over here and we get another version. So now they're not allowed to use the KGB SOCOM Eliminator muzzle attachment, which these ones are the most broken attachments, which basically remove almost all the recoil. And they're trying to have a little bit of a skill gap because with those individual attachments, AK-47 is going to feel like it has very limited recoil, especially in a 4v4 setting with, with the, the way they're going to play the maps a lot closer. It's not like you're playing satellite and you're going to be engaging people at 100 meters and it's going to be a little hard to control. These are pro players best in the world uh there's only about 60 of them total um and that's kind of why they've eliminated that attachment this is where it comes into not necessarily copying their class setup because when you go to their class setup they're not going to have those attachments on their weapons even though those are the best attachments so sometimes looking at these gives you a good indication on what you really should be using um if it's already been banned and agreed to be banned and that goes back to the five milliwatt laser probably worth you're using or that thing that allows for a little bit better visuals so um, one sniper and S and D for EU only, and then no smokes uh, region specific now. So basically they have that in there so that you can see they added it there, smokes respawn and then NA only. So we also have a version three um, and the game hasn't even like literally officially had their, their stuff yet. So now for the version three, there's no sniper and respawn this is NA only now. Um, no cartel added, they basically removed that. Um, so now they're not gonna play any maps of cartel out of the maps that were available. One sniper and SD added to all regions. Uh, hopefully we get a, re a CDL rule set suit running out of room, kind of laughing about how much is changing. But you can see how drastically these things start to change. And this influences the meta significantly because at the end of the day, if you're not allowed to use certain weapons or tools, then literally you cannot use them. Um, and those would be better alternatives to the class setups that they currently have. Keeping in mind that once rank mode comes out, it's going to be pretty crazy that the M16 will be available because they'll be able to one burst. But back in BO4, we had the same issue. There were plenty of weapons that were generally GA'd, uh, not used by the pros, and plenty of class setups that couldn't be used by the pros, but they were available within ranked play. So this is something we got to watch closely to kind of see how that works, especially if you're using those as a go-to guide. It's totally different if they're playing pubs and they do a class setup for a pub class setup. But without you knowing these rules, it's kind of hard to understand if that is a pub class setup 
or not because most of the time they're not going to use a ultra large extended mag they'll just use the 40 round mag and they're going to run with that because they're only getting engagements of 4v4 not 6v6 or 12v12 where you have a high likelihood of running into multiple players at any given time so i thought i'd cover that because a lot of times people make the mistake i've covered this video and people always are like man where the heck they got all these rules these guys are babies no at the end of the day what really is happening here is they're trying to make a non-competitive game in terms of the way it's balanced into a competitive game Call of Duty is one of the most casual first-person shooters in terms of accessibility. Anyone can start Call of Duty. You can kind of go through the motions, figure it out. You're going to get some kills. You're going to learn the game. Um, but a lot of times there's some cheesy stuff in there that's just not balanced, whether it's shotguns, the one-burst weapons, certain streaks, the streak system. There's a lot that goes into it. Uh, like even today, that might even get updated a little bit more because I saw them screaming trying with the streaks on but they reset on death with various scores that are a little bit different so there's a lot of changes that can happen but it's better to be informed on these types of things so you have a better idea and the game can be as competitive as possible once obviously ranked play comes out because i think if you're already feeling like you're playing ranked you might as well play ranked so you can actually get a rank next to your name showing some kind of prestige versus hey i'm level 100 and i go against cdl pros all day long because of my skill bracket I don't know, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new and want to find your way back, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support and the content. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.